Welcome back, Vagabonds. I am here in Marrakesh. I am checking out the Baha'i Palace. Uh, this is an amazing place. If you are coming to Morocco, definitely come to Marrakesh to check out this place. But uh, I could be talking to you so much about this, but let's just go ahead and go into here. So maybe you are questioning, what is the Baha'i Palace? The Baha'i Palace was created for Si Musa, who was originally a slave that worked his way up through the power of the Moroccan government. Eventually, Si Musa became a Grand Sultan and took over this Grand Palace. The architecture here is supposed to be over the top. All these ornate designs that are on the ceilings, on the walls, the different types of materials used, it was supposed to be extremely insane looking. You can expect to spend at least an hour or an hour and a half here just going through these buildings and you will spend around seven euros to gain entry. Alright, as you probably have seen and hear, there's a lot of different textures in the Baha'i uh, Palace here in Marrakesh. Uh, and I think that that's kind of uh, what makes it interesting is that uh, there are a lot of textures, there's a lot of interesting um, tactile uh, structures that um, make it a unique place to visit. So that's one thing that I think that is really interesting about the Baha'i Palace is the incorporation of many uh, different textures. There's riyadhs in here. There's uh, op these open areas to uh, walk. And uh, and uh, there's, then there's like these other places that are a little bit closed, closed off. But this is uh, quite interesting. I hope that you're finding this area as interesting as I am. All right, so I had discussed a little bit about uh, culture here and textures. And one of the things that is 
a texture that you might not think about. We, I mean, we see things, we touch things, uh, and you know, texture is a little bit of a, um, you know discrepancy between two things. Uh, so one of the other things that is a texture here is the different sounds. So you might hear like some birds that have been in here. You might have heard the uh, call to prayer. Uh, you might have uh, heard the um, clunking of the uh, donkeys uh, as I've traveled through here. So th there's a lot of different textures in the culture, in the community when uh, you're visiting here in uh, Morocco. So hopefully you're hearing and seeing these things and feeling these type of things. But uh, another thing that is really important is uh, food. <laughs> uh, as you know, I love food and I need to, uh, you know, explore what uh, other types of food that you can get here. I know that there's a bunch of street vendors and there's other options. So I'm going to go ahead and explore a little bit of the, the food with you all today. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and find something to eat. to be trying some traditional uh, Moroccan food in uh, the Baha'i uh, Temple. It's uh, part of, uh, just, just off of the, the tour area, but it's uh, it's part of the, the old palace here. So it should be interesting. This can be some traditional uh, Moroccan uh, tangine uh, that uh, I'll be trying here. it up here I hope you enjoyed this adventure I uh, know that I did uh, the food here was absolutely delicious this was so good I uh, enjoyed all these textures this culture that I got to experience here in Morocco uh, not sure exactly where um, else I'm gonna go here in uh, Marrakesh but if you haven't hit the like button hit it now hit the subscribe button uh, and get uh, more notifications by hitting the bell. And uh, until then, Atemenya. I'll see you on the next one.